everybody. So today is the start of my journey to Cheltenham Literature Festival. I'm going today, Tuesday the 11th of October and tomorrow, Wednesday the 12th of October. And I thought I'm going to take you on my journey with me to Cheltenham Literature Festival. It's my fourth year going. I've got four talks to go to. I'm so excited. So let's go. now and I'm just kind of lying on my bed just chilling out and I thought I'd do a little haul for you from day one. So excited to show you what I got so let's get rummaging in my bags and I'll show you what I picked up. So I thought I'd show you the books that I picked up from my first day at Chant Literature Festival. First one is this one which is The King is Dead, The Last Will and Testament of Homer VIII by Susanna Linscombe. As you can see it's a beautiful book and this is part of actually t the two talks that I went to today, both of which featured Dr Susanna Linscombe. I thought if the talks were good and if I thought she was really interesting I'd pick up the book. I found her absolutely fascinating, she was so good so I'm really excited to uh, start reading this one. The first talk was actually called Power Beyond the Grave. It was talking about how Henry VIII tried to control power even after he's dead through his his will and, of course, the act of succession that went alongside that. Um, and, and this is what the book is about. However, in the talk, I, I, I was kind of slightly disappointed in a way because I wanted a bit more uh, of Dr. Susan Lentz coming less of the modernity and, and the, the modern royals, which they put alongside that. I would have just liked a bit more of, on this. But however, it did make me go and buy it. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, I'll just flip it over to the blurb so that you can see that has these beautiful pictures around the outside and as you can see it's got this gold foiling it's absolutely beautiful this make a beautiful christmas present for someone so i got it dedicated to me from me merry christmas it's so beautiful and well detailed and it has such beautiful images and illustrations and i just have to show you this double page spread which i know is a very famous picture but look at this isn't it absolutely gorgeous um and this book was only 15 pounds which i thought was very good value for money so i'm really excited to pick up that one and to go along with it also by Susanna Linscombe, I picked up 1536, The Year That Changed, Home VIII. They only had a few of these paperbacks available. And I was like, I need to pick this up because Susanna Linscombe honestly sounded absolutely fascinating. So I thought, yep, yeah, I'll read this because 1536, of course, is the year that Home VIII had his wife and mother of his daughter, Anne Boleyn, executed. So I'm really excited to read both of these. To go along with that, I then picked up the Last Royal Rebel, The Life and Death of Dane, James, Duke of Monmouth by Anna Key. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, she was part of the second talk, um, along with uh, Dr. Suzanne Lincoln again. And this was on the Clash of the Century. So Dr. Suzanne Lincoln, as you can probably tell, was um, going for the 16th century. And of course, the Tudor Elizabethan period. And Anna Key was going for the 17th century or the Stuart period, um, if you want to go with this. Now, uh, James, Duke of Monmouth, was the illegitimate son of Charles II. Fascinating uh, topic that I think is, is definitely well worth discussion. I definitely don't read enough books on the Stuart period. So um, Anna, when she was doing her speaking, sounded really interesting, actually. And I thought, well... Um, I should really give you a try. So I'm really looking forward to, to reading this. And I'm definitely going to have a flick through this tonight and have a look at the pictures anyway. <laughs> and finally, the last book that I picked up for today was A History of Britain in 21 Women by Jenny Murray. This was just one of these books that I hadn't gone to the talk to. But when going through the tents and stuff, I saw that it was a signed copy available um, and it looked really interesting so it's got some pictures inside and just a little bit of information about them so I can learn about different women in different periods of history so 
it's nice to see a history book dedicated and all about women. So those are the four books that I picked up today, my very first day at Cheltenham. I'm really looking forward to the books that tomorrow will bring. Hello, so welcome to day two of Cheltenham Literature Festival. I'm already raring to go, I'm really excited. So let's go to Walk Talks and buy some more books. Today is actually Thursday, it's the day after my second day at Channel Literature Festival. Yesterday I went to a talk which finished at quarter past eight, got home by about nine o'clock and then went to just literally just lie on my bed and then of course the inevitable happened and I fell asleep. So this morning I thought I'd show you what books I got yesterday at Channel Literature Festival. So from the big water stones, it's the three story water stones in Cheltenham. This is the first book that I picked up. I only picked up one book from the three story, three story water stones. It's this one. Matilda, Wife of the Conqueror, First Queen of England by Tracy Borman. Recently uh, finished a book by Tracy Borman and I absolutely loved and adored it. There'll be a review of it coming out very soon and thought, do you know what? I want to read more by her. And then I saw this and I was just like, I need to get this in my life. So here is the blurb, pause it if you wanna read it. Um, it's not too big and I started just flicking through it the first couple of pages in the shop and I was already so addicted. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. I really wanna learn more about Matilda rather than just the basics. So I'm very happy with that purchase. And then from the tents itself, I picked this up. This is Queen Bee's Six Brilliant and Extraordinary Society Hostesses Between the Wars by Sean Evans. This is one that I didn't get to go to the talk to. It was one that actually clashed with another one that I did go to yesterday. However, I was interested in looking at the book and then saw the book and also saw that it was signed. Um, so I was very happy to see that and also flicking through it, it seemed really good and a really interesting read so I'm looking forward to picking this up and let's face it it is absolutely beautiful and absolutely stunning cover so I got that one. The next book that I got was this one Alison Weir, Six Tudor Queens, Catherine of Aragon, The Two True Queen. Um, I went to the talk with Alison Weir on this book. This book's been out a little while but her talk was absolutely incredible and I haven't picked up this book yet until Cheltenham because I just thought well maybe she'll be at Cheltenham and maybe she'll do this book and I was right she was at Cheltenham and she was doing this book. This book is quite a bit of a chunky monkey and I always knew that I was going to pick it up but of course wanted a signed edition and wanted it dedicated to me and everything and when I've met Alison before she's always been so kind and I, I always find with Alison's talks as well, they're so passionate and entertaining. The hour feels like 10 minutes. It's incredible. She's so knowledgeable. And this sounds really good. It sounds like she's done um, a really true representation of not just Catherine of Aragon, but the other queens as well. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Although she did say in her talk that she's actually done um, a prequel to this one almost uh and it's to do with arthur so henry the eighth's brother 
or Catherine's um, first husband. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. But I think it comes out on the 10th of November and it's only on Kindle. So I'm going to read that first and then I'm going to pick this up. So super excited to read that. And also to finish my set of Alison Weir, I picked up a couple of her other books. So I picked up The Captive Queen. Um, this is a fictional read as well and it's a novel of Eleanor of Aquitaine so I'm really looking forward to reading that because I, this is the only fiction one that I haven't read so I need to get on that um, again dedicated to me and then I also picked up um, this one which I haven't read either this one's non-fiction another Catherine it's lots of Catherines um, I hadn't actually heard of her before but it's Alison Weir so I think it's going to be awesome so she's a mistress I like books on mistresses so there is that blurb there and let's face it beautiful cover so all three dedicated to me I have a definite problem so here are all the books that I picked up from Cheltenham Literature Festival over my last two days. I don't want to work out how much money I've spent. I've spent loads. However, I have had an absolute fabulous time and I can't wait for next year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different for me. I hope you enjoyed seeing Cheltenham and it's definitely one that I'm going to rewatch and look back on. And I'm, yeah, I'm very happy that I went. I love going to literature festivals. I think I'm going to try to go um to one more next year maybe go to bath or to birmingham or something like that so i hope you enjoy this video take care and i shall see you soon in my next one bye